Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'd like to focus on the sweep feature and orientation references, how to use the more than one curve in the sweep feature with Creo Parametric 4.0. And I will start from scratch and we'll see. Yeah, okay, so I will create new 3D model and it will be named by like sweep, for example. And if you would like to use the sweep, we can directly start to use with predefined sketch or you can use the existing geometry. I will create some existing geometry here. So for example, I will create the symmetrical rectangle and I like to place it directly in the middle. Okay, so I will a little bit modify and okay. You can see here that if you would like to use the sweep feature, you can select the existing edges. So if you would like to see the better existing edges, you can use the sweep, switch on the shading with edges. And I don't want to see the datum planes or datum feature. And okay, some small modification for visualization of datum features. Okay, I will try to create the first sketch here on the datum plane in the middle and over there will be really easy shape it will be only straight line yeah it will be predefined sketch for me and if i will finish it you can see here that system will allow to me to place the sweep feature on the created curve or you can select the existing edges I would like to try to explain to you how to use the reference orientation. Yeah, you can see here that there is a lot of controls buttons and possibilities how to orient the sweep feature. If you work with sweep, it's necessary to select edge or curve and then you need to select the section directly in the feature. For better explanation again, I will use the small rectangle here. If you use default, the system will automatically use the reference and the orientation will be section plane control normal to trajectory. You can see here that system will always create the section orient by trajectory. What does it mean? I will finish and I will a little bit modify the source curve and I will add there, for example, arc. So I would like to follow the tangency and some dimension. Yeah, okay. So you can see here right now that if the curve is straight, the sweep feature follows the straight, and if the curve is as arc, the sweep follow this trajectory. The question is that right now the system doesn't close this object here. No problem select the definition and use the function option merge ends. So you can see here that right now the system merged these ends with existing geometry and it's the reason why I have created for you the first extra feature here. So right now you know how to place the sweep feature and it is possible to merge the existing geometry. So that's good. The question is how the system orient this section. I will create the chamfer for example here and the chamfer will be defined by angle and some dimensions. For what is it good? I like to use this chamfer feature for sweep orientation. So if I will select the sweep feature and the definition at the beginning I'd like to show you how it is possible to use the plane control. So for example, I'd like to use the normal projection. What does it mean? You can select the normal projection like here and right now the system always use the normal projection to select it surface. For better explanation, again, I will change the sketch 
and we can delete this information here and for example like here so you can see that default orientation was like normal to trajectory yeah but normal to projection is definitely like here so right now if you will sweep your sketch the system will always follow that surface the another possibilities is if you change this constant normal direction the system asks you direction reference so for example i will select this one yeah so constant normal direction and direction reference will be top surface the situation will be the same like the first option normal to projection but over here is the possibility to select the x direction reference and i'd like to use that surface and the system will orient my sketch base it on the selected surface what does it mean if i will jump to sketch right now the system will orient my x orientation directly normal to this surface yeah so for what is this good if you would if you would like to drive your sweep feature for example with chamfer you can really easy edit time engines and the system will spin around and follow the orientation of the sweep feature yeah perfect i like it the parametric modeling is really cool and really quick so for now you know how to use the sweep feature how to use the option tab with mer and merge ends or how to orient your sketch the second example is for the sweep feature you can use the more than one curve so i will continue i will delete this existing sweep feature and i'd like to edit existing sketch in existing sketch for first example i'd like to add only one curve yeah for example same like this and it will be some arc and right now you can see that for sweep feature i can select first curve it will be selected like origin and if i use the control button the system automatically jump to variable section sweep yeah and the system right now allow to me in the sketch use existing curves here the orientation is normal to first curve yes yeah? so you can see here that is not problem for example i will create standard rectangle here and i use the reference that point if i can confirm ok you can see that system will create for me the correct shape and you can follow and change it like you want for better explanation i will start for totally from the scratch yeah control d is default orientation and i will create really quickly a couple of curves here so for example the first curve will be my origin and the another curves okay i can create a separate sketch or we can use the same and on the left side i will use like this and over there will be different shape okay and that sketch i like to copy and orient so i like to use the under the function copy and paste special i'd like to show you always more and more so follow my video tutorials and you will learn almost every feature with creo parametric 4.0 if you will select copy and paste you can use the apply move and rotate and then the system asks you if you would like to move or rotate and then you can spin your sketch and define the time engines here 
So it was a quick example how you can create a copy of existing curves. And right now you can see here that I have specified my shape. It's a really similar to, to the icon. Yeah, you can see here over there in the icon was used only three curves, but I'd like to show you more. Select again the sweep feature and at the first you need to select the, the reference curves. So origin will be in the middle. Doesn't care. Yeah, you can select the first one or another one. And then with control button, you will select another one. But remember, with the origin, you have the specification of the orientation of the section. So right now, if you don't use the X direction orientation, the system automatically spin the model. And directly there, you can create the curves. You can create the straight lines, for example. And the system will follow the existing curves. And if you finish, you have created really nice shape based on the curves. And if you change something, the system automatically will modify the shape. Again, you can use the solid modeling or surface modeling. Yeah, right now I have created surfaces. Or if you select the option tab, you can use the surface modeling and use the function cap ends. And right now the system creates for me the surfaces, but with cap ends. It was a quick example how you can use the surface modeling with sweep feature. Later you can create the another surface, yeah, for example, like this. And for example, I'd like to specify the different shape here and the system will automatically jump the surfaces. And what I need to do is create a surface. And then if you use this drop down menu, I don't want to see in the future, you can really easy jump and select the quilts. The system allowed to you select only quilts. And if you use the control button and you select the X created sweep feature and extrude feature, you can use the function directly from the flyout menu and use the merge. For the merge, you can select the arrows and choose what you want and the system will create for you the final shape. If you don't want to see the sketches, select and use the hide function or hide everything what is here. And at the end, it's necessary to create a solid modeling. So use the function solidify and the system will create solid model for you. So it was a quick example how we can use the sweep feature, how to orient the model directly with sweep sketch. And then I have shown you how you can use more than one curve directly for the sweep. I hope so that you like my example and stay tuned and follow my YouTube channel. Thank you and bye bye, Vladimir.